Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Spy Family Episode 5. And in the last episode, we have finally gotten to our family interview at Anya's potential new school. And we all know that the whole reason why this Forger family exists and why everyone's here is because Lloyd's mission is to get Anya into this school so that he can gather information on some of the people that are associated with this school. So they head over to the school and apparently the exam started even earlier than everyone had thought. Now luckily Lloyd was able to pick up on this but I feel so bad for all of the other families because imagine getting eliminated before you even make it to the interview. You're just getting judged based on how you walk into the the building and you're already getting crossed off of the list like that's super embarrassing but apparently the main criteria that they were looking for in all of the families was elegance and the main person kind of determining whether you were elegant enough was none other than my boy Henderson so Henderson was watching the Forger family like a hawk but it doesn't matter because we knocked this test out of the park for him kids drowning in sewers no problem we we got it taken care of. A stampede of random barnyard animals? Easy peasy. There was nothing that could stop the foragers from making it to this interview and they did it in the most elegant fashion. So they finally made it into the interview and this is where things kind of take a turn for the worst because there's three sort of like instructors that are judging whether or not they're worthy to enter the school. It was all going well. We were actually knocking out all of these questions until one of the instructors asked Anya a very personal question which was whether or not she loved her current mother or her previous mother more. And this struck a chord with Anya, and we saw her start to tear up, and immediately, Yor was ready to end this man's life. And Lloyd, he was trying to restrain himself, but even he ended up losing to his emotions and almost knocked that guy clean out. Luckily, he hit the table instead, and then he just said, you know what, if the instructors are gonna be like this, then we don't want any parts of this school. And they walked away, Henderson, my boy Henderson, ended up clobbering that man himself, which made my respect for him shoot through the roof, and hopefully that means that we were accepted into the school, but I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, it'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think, so if you could take the time to do that real quick, I would very much appreciate it, and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly spy family reactions, but with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so here I have episode 5 pulled up, but real quick before we get into it, a few quick things. First one is going to be, if you would like to check out the uncut reactions to Spy Family, you can find them over on my Patreon, which all of you guys can join for as low as $2, and not only do you get access to all my Spy Family reactions, but a bunch of past anime that I've reacted to, and all future anime that I will be reacting to on the channel. On top of that, if you would like to stay notified whenever I drop a brand new reaction, make sure to click that big red subscribe button, it only takes 5 seconds and it is completely free. And then lastly, do not forget to head to the link in the description and check out the Cloud Crowd merch store. We have two different designs to choose from, so you can pick your favorite and support the Cloud Crowd today. But, whenever you guys are ready, we will be starting episode 5 in... 3, 2, 1, go. Wait. So, are these the, like, villains that we're after right now? That's their headquarters? Oh, no. Black Cat, that's bad luck. Oh, oh no, dude, it's just bad luck after bad luck today. Oh wait, okay, no, so I knew, okay, I knew when I saw that symbol, I was like, wait, isn't that like our team that we're working with? But 
the way they were talking about him made it seem like they were like they didn't know who they were and so i thought they were villains dang they didn't make it in even after all of that so i wonder if it's that sort of situation where like all three of the instructors needed to accept them because i'm sure i don't remember all of their names but the one with the glasses and henderson i'm sure they gave us a pass but there's no way the other guy did so ah man what do we do now if we actually didn't get into the school doesn't that mean we failed the mission but who knows there might be some other way that we can uh gather the information that we need the only thing is though like if they do go that other route and they don't need to enter the school anymore then there's not really going to be much of a purpose in having this fake family cuz the only reason he started the family was to have a fake kid so that that kid could enter the school. So, I don't know, man. I have no idea where things are going to go from here. Everything seemed like pretty linear up until this point, but this is a pretty big curveball we were throwing here. All right, let's see. They weren't accepted. And all of them are heartbroken. Oh no. No! <laughs> it's not your fault, Anya. <gasps> Henderson! Maybe? Hold on. We might be in luck. Oh! The waiting list. Okay, okay. So there's still a chance. Top of the waiting list, too. Okay. Mosquitoes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. So we actually got super lucky there. Oh. Some lore. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This isn't Laura, is it? This is her, like, imagining eliminating the competition so Anya can get in. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. I thought she was saying this out loud for a second. <laughs> I'm glad she kept it in. And Anya... <laughs> Dang. So I wonder if we're gonna, like, force some kid's hand and make him resign or something. <gasps> oh! Wow. So he lost his job for it. Where does he go from here? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Dang.
Did we make it? Oh! Hey, let's go! We actually got in. Finally, that's a huge weight off of our shoulders, man. I feel like we were walking on eggshells for the past two episodes. Or I guess the last episode. And the one before, that was the outing episode. Alright, now it's time to celebrate! Let's go! Look at that, we're over here eating good. Is she just eating peanuts? What- what is that? Is that rice? Oh? What's it gonna be? So are they watching a spy movie? Oh, maybe they're like reenacting. Oh, that's what the last episode was showing. Maybe they're like reenacting a spy mission. Okay. That explains why everyone was wearing the costumes in the ending scene. <laughs> oh, you can't break her heart like this. <laughs> Oh, there, there's your in. Look, see, he's like, <laughs> he's like the cool uncle. Man, look at how happy she is now. Alright, so is he gonna like set something up with these guys? Make it happen on the double. Okay. Dang, so are they communicating in Morse code? Is that what that beeping was? Dang, they got their own private plane, holy crap! <laughs> Look at her little uniform. Alright, it's time to roll. Hey, just make sure she isn't the one flying and we're good. Look at your man. She is out of it right now. <laughs> but it's so cool seeing this side of her in contrast to like the assassin side of her. Dang. This must be so cool, dude. Like, not only does her dad have a private plane, 
But he can fly it too? That's sick. Or it's a seaplane. Like she's tired already? Oh no. Where are we gonna get bad guys? Oh no, dude, I, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> she's uh she's a little too cunning. I feel like she's uh trying to milk everything she can out of this situation right now. Ah, uh, I don't know if I can go to this school without any bad guys. <laughs> now look, they're sending in a crab ton of them. Dang! They just had these people on standby? Look, where did they get the food from? <laughs> Dang, these guys are the real deal. They sent bad guys out in an instant. Princess Anya. Lloyd man. <laughs> Fuzzball. And she's just there. <laughs> Yours just your today. Oh no, they're gonna put him to the test. Dang, these guys are, they must be pretty highly trained too, so this definitely isn't going to be easy, right? The fuzz kill, look, he's already throwing out the cheesy puns. <laughs> Look at how happy she is. <laughs> Dude, she is loving this. Save me, Lloyd, man. I feel like this is going to get, like, too real. Like, they're going to be throwing real hands out here. <laughs> oh no Dang, that's one wrong There you go Yep, yep, we all know that one Let's see. What does she want right now? <laughs> He's already acting like a villain. Uh, how are we supposed to know that? <laughs> Poor Lloyd, man.
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dude, Anya is so funny, man. Oh my god. Lloyd, man. In his full costume. Now it's time to get to work. Look at that. He's so cool. <laughs> Look at that, he's even got the water slide technique. And here are the goons, waiting for his arrival. Now it's getting real. Dang, okay, Lloyd's got moves, man. He's bobbing and weaving. Oh, distraction. <laughs> Dang! This man is nimble. He is the real deal. The fuzz has only just begun. <laughs> You're in the back, man. <laughs> She's gonna forget everything that happened today. But man, I love this. This is so cool. I just, I love how happy Anya is. Like, even though she's supposed to be this princess that's getting kidnapped, she's just smiling the whole time. Look at- OH MY GOD! Lloyd is smooth with it. <laughs> oh man. Time for, what, trial number three? <laughs> Lloyd the man. Mm. Do you hear this music? These visuals. Come on, Lloyd man. You got this. Ooh, I like that explosion in the background. <laughs> it's for the mission. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> it's your Oh, no! The mistress of witchcraft. Oh, now this is gonna be- Yep, yep, this is gonna be a real challenge. And she's in her assassin mode. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I love how she's doing all of this while tipsy. Dang! Oh my god! This choreography! Ah, oh, she broke a heel. Dang, that was easy. <laughs> Dude, what are we gonna do with your? What are we gonna do with her? <laughs> Also, this guy's doing a great job of playing the villain, but still no match. <laughs> mm. 
Mission accomplished. Dude, what a great, like, heartwarming filler episode. I mean, would this even count as filler? Because, I mean, it's not necessarily, like, plot progressing, but this was such a fun watch, man. I don't know, this might be my favorite episode so far. This was so cool. You know what it is? It is my favorite episode so far. Name an episode that was better. I dare you. That's cool, man. You got the shooting star in the background. Oh, that's the invoice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is... Man, now we gotta, like, accomplish this mission. There's no way we can fail after all of that. <laughs> but it's so cool seeing, like, how much support Lloyd has in this. Like, there's no way they would give Lloyd that much money and that many resources in an instant if they didn't believe in his talents. So, that's cool. Like, they're not just gonna go out of their way like that for... A newbie but they've already mentioned uh, a couple times that Lloyd is like the best of the best at what he does and that's probably why they're sending him on such a high-level mission but phenomenal episode this was so cool it was so much fun to watch all the characters were just having a good time even Lloyd was having a good time, I'm sure. He got to brush up on a couple of his skills, because, you know, it's not every day you get to run around and, you know, shoot dual automatic weapons and do all those flips and dodge giant balls and stuff like that. So, I'm sure this was cool for him. And Yor, she's not even going to remember anything, dude. <laughs> she's going to have a good sleep. Wake up tomorrow and not remember a single thing. Okay, so are we... Oh, we're actually at the school now. Oh, and there's the signature on your face, man. Alright, so real quick, I just want to lightly touch on what we saw there in the ending scene, and then I'll get right into the question of the day. So, in the ending scene, we see Anya, I mean, I feel like the first half is kind of just, there's not enough information there for us to really go off of. We see, like, these random, what look like, uh, I don't know, like, thieves? I don't know what they were, but it seemed like they were giving Anya a hard time. And then maybe they were the ones that triggered your or something else triggered her. Like I said, there wasn't too much information. But in the second half, we see Anya is finally at the school. And she is like dealing with a couple of the other kids in the school. And that kid with the black hair, he popped up in the ending scene. I saw or I remember seeing his face in the ending scene. So my guess is that he is going to be a, like, more notable character, and my guess is he is probably going to be, like, Anya's antagonist. He's probably going to be the school bully, or he might be your typical, like, cocky and conceited kid that thinks that uh, Anya's, like, low class, because she's not from a wealthy family. I guess her family's not bad though like her family's pretty well off but i'm guessing this kid is from some super wealthy family but my question of the day for you guys is going to be now i said earlier into the episode i think this was the best episode so far let me know if you agree or disagree because personally i can't think of another episode that i enjoyed more than this one. First episode phenomenal second episode phenomenal third episode fourth episode all of them were so good but i don't think any of them top this one but let me know if you disagree and if you do let me know what episode you would put over this one in the comment section down below 
But with that, I'm going to head out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.